Hayes Sellers was 18 years old when he died trying to break up a fight in Baton Rouge earlier this year. Tonight, charges against one of the men arrested for his killing have been dropped by the district attorney's office. The investigative unit and Chris Nakamoto asking questions about how this happened. Michael Jace Lambert was originally charged as a principal to the killing of Sellers. Days ago, the district attorney's office determined there was not enough evidence to proceed with a trial and declined to proceed forward with the case against Lambert. But this doesn't mean the case is closed. It was in the parking lot of this nightclub off Highland Road that 18 year old Hayes Sellers will be remembered for his heroic actions. Witnesses say he was breaking up a fight back in May when he took a blow to the head and died a week later at the hospital. This duo, Jace Lambert and Edmund Ravel, were arrested and charged with Sellers' death. Investigators said Lambert was drunk and trying to fight every person that he came in contact with. Ravel then stepped out of a car and allegedly punched Sellers in the face, knocking him unconscious and causing Sellers to strike his head on the concrete. Despite the probable cause for their arrests, prosecutors say the evidence did not support any specific intent to kill. Court records show one of the principals to Hayes Sellers' killing was supposed to be in the 19th Judicial District Court on December 12th, 15 days ago. A court minute entry shows the district attorney's office chose to not bill that individual on the charges tied to Sellers' death. He was arrested as a principal in this case, but when we looked at the evidence and reviewed the evidence in, uh, against what the law is and what's required, uh, we did not think that we had sufficient evidence to uh, uh, charge him or prosecute him for that, that offense. The rejection of charges by District Attorney Hiller Moore's office comes after charges were reduced against Ravel. We as lawyers look at case law and know what we can prove or can't prove. Who was initially booked with Sellers' murder. Uh, we uh, looked at the case and vetted the case amongst ourselves with the family. We thought that the appropriate charge was manslaughter and not murder, and that's the charge that we filed against him. Moore says in Louisiana now, jury convictions must be unanimous, and his office did not think there was enough evidence to support a conviction against Lambert or a murder charge for Ravel. It's a tough pill to swallow for a family having to deal with even more hard news around the holidays. Particularly this time of year, the, uh, this family's hurting, they're grieving right now. And for lawyers to become involved in victims' families' lives and to, that have been disrupted for us to have to tell them things that they don't want to hear uh, based on law and the facts that we have, or it's, it's tough for them to hear and accept. Ravel was formally charged with manslaughter by the district attorney's office in August. He's scheduled to appear back in court in March. As for Lambert, he's been cleared in Sellers' death. Michael?